I started to scribe memoirs after losing some people that were very close to me in my life. Uh, started thinking about after they were gone, all I had was their name on a family tree. One person that I lost that was very close to me was my grandmother, and I knew very, very little about her. And I started asking my friends the same types of things. Um, what do you know about your grandmother? What do you know about your mother? Finding out that we've never stopped to ask the questions. A number of years ago, I started researching our family tree and doing genealogy, and um, you know, through ancestry, like everyone does. And there's um, it, what's lacking in that process is you end up with essentially an organizational chart of your family with a bunch of names and dates on it, and it isn't really alive. When I looked at my mother and my mother's generation, um, it, it's kind of a stoic generation that doesn't share a whole lot of information, and I thought those stories are going to disappear um, like they have with every generation. I thought, here's a great way to bring that to life. Um, you know, for my mom, for my children, for future generations to actually have a story and, and, and vibrant color behind that name and that box and that day. You know, it's information that we don't normally sit down and ask our parents about when we get together. I have a large family, lots of siblings, and, you know, family gatherings are very busy and very loud, and, you know, it's not usually the right time to talk to them about this. So it seems like it never happens, so it was just a great opportunity to, um, you know, sit down and, and talk through it in great detail and have that put into writing and into a beautiful book. The typical process is I go into the home of the narrator, and this is the person that's telling me the story, and we schedule five two-hour interviews about a week apart. Uh, it helps to have that time in between to reflect. Uh, during that series of interviews, they are recorded, and I come back to my home and transcribe them. Uh, during the process of the interviews, the narrator is presented with a draft transcription of the book so that they can look through and see if the book is the book going the way I want it to. Am I covering the things I want to in the book? So my parents felt a little uneasy about this at first. They thought, you know, our lives are not that exciting. Um, but they really valued the idea that their children wanted this information captured. Um, so Lori met with my parents and um, you know, she knew the right questions to ask to get their minds flowing as to, you know, different stages of their life and the experiences they went through. And they ended up having a lot of fun with it and, you know, started to remember things that are coming back for them to share. Um, so it was, it was a great experience for them as well. Um, having had children later in life um, that they may not be of an age where they can fully appreciate um, my mother's stories uh, and all of that, but having that available to them and to their children later on will really, again, kind of cement my mother's place in, in everyone's life and in history. She had a fascinating life and, and uh, fascinating aspects to her life that, that are very important. I highly suggest that when uh, a client receives the books that they gather together the friends and the family that they wish to have copies of the books for what I call a memoir celebration. And this is a culmination of all the hard work and effort that somebody has put into going through this process of writing their memoir and gathers their friends and family to honor that person for doing this. This person has bared out their whole life story and their whole soul onto paper and to pass that out to their family members and even autograph them is a wonderful, beautiful way of getting the family together and saying, you know, thank you for this gift and this is my gift to you, my life. But I think really it's a gift for us, for my siblings. Um, you know, it'll be something we'll definitely share with our parents and I know they'll enjoy it, but most importantly, it's a gift to pass down to our future generations. You know, all of those stories about, you know, when I was a kid, this is the way that it was. Um, I actually believe them now, <laughs> having read the book. Um, and I actually have a greater appreciation for the difficulties that she faced and what a strong woman she was and the adversity that she faced and overcame. Um, you don't see that. You always see it's just, this is mom. Um, but when you get into that, stories of her as a person, it's, it's amazing. So I gained an enormous appreciation for her strength. Um, and her will as a woman that I didn't have before um, the memoir. I want to assist people to help them write their memoirs so that there is a living legacy that they can leave behind for future generations so that everybody knows the people that came before them. That's my passion and that's why I started this company. Yeah.